Hello, and welcome back to our last and final episode for 2023. That's a wrap. In our previous episode, Hindsight is 2020, the team here took a vulnerable and transparent approach based on their responses. Now that's awareness and growth. So with that said, let's get started. Welcome to Stories from the River, a show in which we go behind the scenes at Broad River Retail. Chrissy. Yes, <laughs> Jocelyn. <laughs> oh, this is this is a fun one. Okay. <laughs> so Chrissy, um, what was your fondest memory as you look back on this year? Yeah, it's hard to pinpoint one um, with all that we have accomplished this year. Um, I think overall, just as I think I spoke about on a couple of episodes ago, um, the quarterly all hands meetings were really awesome. Just our opportunity to get all of the HC team together, what, 30 plus people in a room where we spend a whole day um, together updating each other on progress and accomplishments and just, you know, really spending that time together has been a lot of fun this year. Um, Recently, I was able to take my team out for a team building, um, team outing event at Topgolf. Um, So we spent a few hours there one afternoon, got them out of the office um, away from the computers and just really got to spend some time together. Um, learned that RJ is a pro golfer. Mm. Um, <laughs> John and Carlos are right up there with him and that I probably got the lowest score in top golf history. <laughs> <laughs> I was terrible, made a fool of myself. Um, but it was a lot of fun. <laughs> Vulnerability again, there right? You go. Definitely there. Um, and I think just overall, um, bigger picture, just watching the team grow and develop throughout the year, watching all the work that they did, um, being a proud mom, right? (laughs) Just Mm -hmm. all that they've accomplished. I mean, they have worked hard. We all have all year. And that's just what I walk away from the year with is just feeling great about all the work that's been done. Um, Also recently, I'll throw this in there. We just talked about this, our lovely memory maker appreciation week video (laughs) where the four of us had, I don't know, 10, 15 takes um, for one sentence, just maybe five or six words. And it took about 15 minutes. (laughs) And we couldn't stop laughing. (laughs) I think we've made it through this pretty well. Hopefully we'll finish, but that's probably a, a really fun moment too. I would agree, Chrissy. That was hilarious. I don't think I've laughed that that hard yeah. and for that extended period of time mm-hmm. in a very long time. So right. that was good. Fun stuff. Yes. <laughs> we got it in the end. Yeah, we did. <laughs> About two seconds yeah. of a video. Yeah. Um, you touched on it, but our all hands meetings have been so great. Mm-hmm. Our quarterly ones are always so fun to have full t- days, you know, eight hours just to you know, gather, have fun together, make connections and break down those silos that we've had on our team. So it's been really cool to see them interact. But more than that, when we give them the chance to either lead a meeting or lead a segment and the way that their creativity Mm -hmm. shows, um, you know, one is Field HC team did that activity with the balloons. Oh, that that's a good so one. How did I think of that? Yeah. Yeah. Um, it was so funny, mm-hmm. so engaging, but it also taught the rest of the HC team what they do. Mm-hmm. So that was really, it was really cool to see. Mm-hmm. And just the the different creative ways that they've come together. And, um, you know, we had that hand painting earlier this year. Mm-hmm. Uh, Kate did the thankful tree this mm-hmm. month. So just the different activities that they get, they get really creative. And I don't know where it comes from sometimes, mm-hmm. but it's fun to watch. It is. Yes. It is. Mm-hmm. Those are those have been some great moments. Yeah, they really have. How about you, Heather? What's what's on your mind? I think about you know, Chrissy you talked about Memory Maker Appreciation Week, mm-hmm. and I think my favorite moments are always when we're able to give back um, and recognize our team. I, I often think human capital is one of those departments like you're doing, you're doing, you're doing, and your head's down. And sometimes you know you have those thoughts of. Do people know this or am I making an impact? And so, you know, every year we host our annual gala, um, which is exciting and a fond memory for me for several reasons. Uh, But this year we were able to surprise Emmeline and Ariel and they do so much behind the scenes. And when Stacy called me and said, hey, by the way, I want to recognize them and I want it to be a surprise. Um, hiding it from them for weeks and changing trophies and programs (laughs) so they didn't see and they didn't know. 
but to see the moment when they found out mm-hmm. and they got recognized to be for being great cross collaborators with our retail performance team, um, I, I won't forget the looks on their faces and just that pure moment of like, wow, yeah. what they're doing, you know, and to hear it from Stacy and Carl and the senior retail leaders was a really, really big deal. Um, and so I think about those moments. And then I think about the moments where we've connected this year and the relationships that I have today, um, we have a lot of late nights together. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, and sometimes that probably sounds really bad on the, on the camera, but they're always really fun, they right? Are. If we're going to work late mm-hmm. or we're going to be together and it's dark out, all of a sudden, like it gets silly and mm-hmm. it gets fun. And I think those are some of my favorite moments. You know, I've had the opportunity to travel a lot this year and I got to travel with Kate at the very beginning of the year. Mm-hmm. We went to Vegas together. And in that experience, just Kate and I going and learning more about each other and growing um, was one of my favorite things that I did this year. Mm-hmm. Um, you think so, you know somebody and then you go to right? Vegas. <laughs> right, right. Okay. Keep in it a in really, Vegas. In a okay. great, great way. Um, and again, like a lot of late night conversations just about like things we want to do or goals we have or aspirations. And then Christy and I went to the Purpose Summit later mm-hmm. in the year. And so I just think of all of those and think like I'm grateful to have those opportunities mm-hmm. to go places and see things, but also really just grateful to work for a company where camaraderie matters mm-hmm. and heart matters and we show up and we show up first with heart. Yeah. So, yes, I agree. I love the way you put that. We show up with heart. Mm-hmm. Yes. It makes a difference. It does. I think it Huge. makes a difference in Huge how we difference. feel or. My memories are are very warm Mm -hmm. and they're very, you know, feel good where you don't always have those memories at work and not all companies, you you know, we have bad days too, but we have a lot of really good days and we look back at the year and think like, wow, we did a lot. We worked really hard, but we had a great time when we did it. And that's what counts. Mm -hmm. That's what matters. Absolutely. I have to echo Purpose Summit, too. Mm -hmm. Um, That was a lot of fun. And being able to connect with Heather and let's see who went Wes and Brian and Kim and Lynn. I think I got everybody, the two of us. Um, Notre Dame is beautiful. I've never been there before. So very grateful for that opportunity. Um, And just the speakers there Mm -hmm. were amazing. Just a really good trip. Yeah. Well, that's that's a great group to hang out with. (laughs) So, yeah, Mm -hmm. I'm sure you had a good time. Yes. Yeah. I missed Sherm, but that's okay. I had <laughs> Next time. something very important yeah, going very on. Right? <laughs> yeah. My daughter graduated, it, but yeah. Um, yeah, I hated to miss Vegas, but next time, right? That's right. <laughs> you missed a lot. It was we'll, a good time. We'll definitely take it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, um, what else? Anything else you guys yeah. can think of? One of my favorite days this year was the hiring event that we had in Fort Mill. So hiring events were new this year yeah. to Broad River. Right. Um we tried a few things and my favorite one was the one that we had at Fort Mill. Um, and we had a cookout where I manned the grill. I don't know if anyone will allow me to do that again. <laughs> it was so hot, but there was so much participation. All the recruiters showed up. People from your team showed mm-hmm. up and stood in the sweltering heat to not only um, engage the candidates as they were coming in, but help coordination. We were all running around trying to figure out who goes where to do what. Um, We had leaders from um, operations and CX join us. Um, They were outside for most of it, but they kept sneaking in the air conditioning because it was midsummer. We did not plan that out well, but (laughs) um, it was so fun to get the group together and do something that we don't normally do, but it was still so productive because we got a good number of hires out of that as well. So it was like, not only did we get to jive as a group and you know, work with each other and learn about each other on a different level as we were standing outside in 95 degree heat for four hours. But um, it was also productive and it was a win that we came away from with this year. So that was it was such a fun day. But maybe next time I'll check the temperature and the weather before we schedule anything (laughs) outside again. It's very warm. (laughs) Yeah, you may want to do that. And something in addition to hot dogs, perhaps, Kate? I mean, yeah. Well, I got us veggie dogs. There was some variety, but I also don't really trust myself to cook anything outside of that. So maybe I'll just hand the grill over to someone else. And Kate was being so cheap. Okay. So. Hey, we have a budget. budget. I get it. She really pays attention. In she, our does. Yeah. she really does. Yes, yes she, she does. does. 
<laughs> I think like the, the cool thing is like that kind of in person that has yeah. come back mm -hmm. uh, yeah. pre COVID. We were a very in person company and we were in the office and now we we have this big mix on our team. We have some who are remote, some are hybrid, some who like to be in the office. And it's nice when those opportunities present themselves where our whole team comes in, whether mm -hmm. it's an all hands or it's a hiring event or wellness days, mm -hmm. or I think it's just cool to be back together. Um, this year, our team moved all to the kind of mm -hmm. same area in the office mm -hmm. before we were kind of all over the place. And so when you walk through the first floor and you see different people working mm -hmm. and them connecting and laughing, it just feels really good. Mm -hmm. It feels good to see the team. It feels good to interact. And then you see like all these little relationships forming mm -hmm. and kind of buddies and groups where I think like that's something I've missed. Mm -hmm. You know, Chrissy was saying it earlier, like now it's kind of back to our norm. We like mm -hmm. to go into the office mm -hmm. and be together and eat lunch together and share things where it's like that just feels good to be back together. And some of those best memories are happening because we're in the same room and we're in the same place. So, yeah. I agree. Yeah. Well, if we don't do anything else together, we oh. definitely eat together. We eat. <laughs> yes. It's always a hard decision what we eat. <laughs> what right. we eat. Oh. And not a easy or quick decision. No. Right. Um, We're all we very eat. passionate yes. about what we want. <laughs> uh, That's probably one of my, you know, fondest memories is the fact that, you know, we do break bread mm -hmm. quite a bit. Mm -hmm. and, and it's not just about the work. Mm -hmm. You know, we do care about each other. And what's going on in one another's lives. So mm -hmm. um, I think that says a lot about, you know, again, going back to our hearts, but mm -hmm. our care and, and our bond, mm -hmm. our bond. Mm -hmm. So we're bonded now. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think it's in those moments like we're writing strategy. And strategy, as you know, to me now is like this mental game. Yes. And I live for the thrill of it. Yeah. But those are like mentally exhausting, mm -hmm. draining mm -hmm. days. But in the middle of it to break. Mm -hmm. and to eat lunch together and to laugh and tell stories and kind of regroup and recenter. I think as a group, we've become so much closer and we're much more real with one another mm -hmm. where now it's okay to be like, no, I don't like it. <laughs> and I'm not going to feel bad about it. And I'm yeah. not going to hurt Kate's feelings. <laughs> it's just how it is. But I think like all those mm -hmm. moments throughout the year have provided that. It's a very safe space. It's a very welcome space. We all bring something different to the table. Mm -hmm. And you learn to really appreciate that about one another. Mm -hmm. yep. I've learned a lot of synonyms for a lot of words <laughs> this year. It's true. Yeah. Yes. As we do our strategy. That's right. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> I love those strategy sessions. They are exhausting and not not getting any less exhausting. Maybe a little easier, but not less exhausting. But it's almost fun to have a spar over different opinions mm -hmm. to really fight for what you want, even though the person that you're close with, that you work day and day in <laughs> with is like, no, you're wrong. Like, we're not <laughs> saying that. Um, it's fun. Those are some of my favorite memories from this year. I think, you know, in this year we we brought someone into our room, right? So we got really good at it. Mm -hmm. And then we had Lindsay come in. Yes. And I remember that day thinking, like, oh, man, does she know? Like, <laughs> what does she have to get into? Because we all also have found our niche. Yeah. And so in that room, we have our place. We know where we go. We fit in a little puzzle. And then Lindsay comes in. I'm like, oh, I don't know if we prepped her correctly <laughs> today. And I think she she did well. She did. She, she hung did. in there. Yes. But I think like you find that groove with one another and we found it. Mm -hmm. And so that makes a difference and it doesn't get easier. But like it's a little bit better each time yeah. where you feel like you got it. You're ready. And what you come out with is like so good. And you didn't see that coming eight hours before. It did. So. <laughs> right. And I think yeah. I spoke to this earlier in another episode, but I'm not typically one to push back or to say, yeah, no, I don't really like that. I typically just go with the flow before this year. <laughs> <laughs> so there is such a level of comfort here mm -hmm. and, you know, kind of safe space security that I do feel that I can say, oh, I don't really like that. Or let's try this, let's try something different. That is not who I am. Um, so it just speaks mm -hmm. to how I feel about you guys, because I'm right. comfortable now saying no. Yes. <laughs> yes. But like no. you said earlier, yeah. in a respectful way, everybody's very respectful, yeah, yeah with one yeah. another, yeah. so yes. Our last <laughs> session, you had to step out for a little bit to deal with something related to payroll, and Heather, Lindsay, and I, mm -hmm. we worked hard that whole time. We had most we of it done. You came in and, no, we're starting from <laughs> square one. 
Oh, did I do that? Yes. Really? <laughs> I'm <Okay>. sorry. <laughs> oh. Yes, he did. I was like, oh, I, didn't hear I don't about really that. like it. <laughs> oh, I don't really, really? like it. Oh, I'm not very comfortable. Yes, obviously. <laughs> that's not who I am. <laughs> oh, oh, that's funny. That but I think that, and that has also made us better with our teams. Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I feel that for me is to live in a little less fear of mm-hmm. saying, you know, just being transparent and being open. And ultimately, like what we want is what's best for our teams and to grow and to develop. So not being afraid to say, like, let's talk that through mm-hmm. or let's review that together. And I think some of the best learnings come from that, that just like being honest, being mm-hmm. transparent. Yeah. You know, I always tell people like, I want to know now. I don't want to know six months later that this happened. And so I think for us, we've become better leaders as we've become more comfortable with one another and more comfortable with our roles in the company and just really just being better to our people, better to our company and better to each other. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes. Well said. I'm comfortable with the word now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. <laughs> and that's perfectly fine. Yeah. Look what you've done. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> In a good way. Right. So, so. <laughs> oh, anything else? I think it's been a really great year. I think there's a lot to look back on. It's hard to like pick a memory or a moment when I just think the year always goes by so fast. Mm-hmm. Uh, you write the strategy or you think, okay, January, and then it's May. Uh, but we've done a really, really good job. Our teams have grown and they shine. Um, I think the things that they're doing are incredibly important to the future of our company. Mm-hmm. And they feel empowered and they feel confident. And I think all of that makes a difference. Mm-hmm. It just feels good. It feels right. Mm-hmm. Um, and as we go into 2024, like it doesn't stop. What's next? Where do we go? What do we do? I think we only get better from here. Yeah. You all really have accomplished so much. It really has been an incredible year. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It has. All right. Is that it? I think so. Yeah. That's I think that's wrap. it. Okay. That's a wrap. Well, right? All right. It's a wrap. <laughs> well, we would like to end our Road to Elevate series by raising our glasses to our memory makers, to our listeners, and our amazing human capital team members. Here's to you. Cheers. 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 I'm across the way. Okay, okay. Air cheers. Thanks for listening to Stories from the River. To check out more episodes, visit storiesfromtheriver.com. Join us again next week, and remember to like, rate, and subscribe to the podcast.